The United Irish Societies are bringing back what they hope will be an annual event at Civic Center Plaza right after the St. Patrick's Day Parade. And here to give us all the details is the director of St. Patrick's Day Parade, James Quinn. James, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks so much for having me, Olivia. I appreciate yeah. the, the call out. Thank yes, you. Of course. Super, super excited to talk about the St. Patrick's Day Parade and all the other festivities surrounding it. it not too much time left. It's happening this weekend. No, it's four days in. Uh, yeah. Four days to go. The weather was looking fine. Um, Amazing. So we are really looking for like a, a, a much revamped and reinvigorated parade this year and festival to go along with it. Yeah, I believe it. Well, let's talk first about the parade. You know, like you just said, you want to reinvigorate it, kind of reinvent it this year. But tell me why and what are you hoping to may maybe make it a little bit more unique this year? Well, the parade's a juggernaut, right? It's been going for 173 years now, uh, longer than California statehood. Yeah, that's crazy. And um, we have 120 floats or so this year. Uh, we'll have our mayor and we have a, our grand marshal is a, a, an Irish man, but he's been here since the 70s. His name is Tom Hunt and Tom's, uh, Tom's a great worker in the community. You know, he employs a couple of hundred people in the Bay Area. And uh, we like to shine the light on local people who are making a difference. Mm -hmm. And Tom Hunt is definitely making a difference in San Francisco. Yeah, it kind of sounds like live in the Bay. We like to highlight people who are making yeah. a difference just like you yeah, yeah. as well. So what is the theme surrounding this year's parade? The theme of this year's parade uh, is Unite SF. So it's to unite the city. Um, what we'd like to do is, the city of San Francisco is, is, is a very diverse uh, community. Um, it was built by the Irish and the Latinos and the Chinese and, you know, and all the diverse communities we have here in San Francisco. We built the city together, so we would like everybody to come out and uh, join us on March 16th for the parade, come out and uh, see the floats and there's a lot, and, mm -hmm. uh, and come out and enjoy the day under the Irish umbrella and bring all these multicultural diverse communities together and just to celebrate mm -hmm. uh, at Civic Centre Plaza at at uh, 2 o'clock, the festival kicks off. Well, why was that so critical this year? Because like you said, you wanted to take a different approach to the parade this year that's been going on for over 170 years. But why unite everybody together this year specifically? Well, I think it's important to unite San Francisco right now because um, there's a lot of negativity out there about the city. And uh, it isn't like that. You, I live here. I've lived here for 25 years. My wife's a local public school teacher. I've raised two kids here. And the city's a fabulous place to live. Too often you get outside groups that will come in. They show you a spot an eight block area of downtown and they say this is San Francisco and we know it's not there's much more going on here the city is still a beautiful place to live there's a lot of some of the greatest ideas have come out of the Bay Area and they're still coming you know so for us at the United Irish Societies it's important to kind of shine a light on the city in a positive way mm -hmm. and get all the diverse communities out together under the umbrella of the Irish and come out and enjoy a day of the Irish we've got a free concert we have a group called, uh, we have a Irish dancing that will kick off the concert at 2.30 and then we have an Irish punk band, or a local punk Ooh. band they're called The Hooks, and The Hooks are going to just knock the socks off the city for the first hour. After The Hooks are done, I have teamed up with Glide Ensemble from Glide Church, and we have the Glide Ensemble and Change Band and they're going to come out and they're going to do an hour of Irish songs and, uh, and then for the final hour, then we have a group called uh, Dublin Soul. Eamon Flynn will head up, it heads up Dublin Soul and Eamon has played on the Commitments soundtracks and you know he's uh, we've got Tony Lindsay, Tony sang the, the national anthem at the Giants or the, the 49ers NFC championship game a few weeks ago yeah. uh, down at uh, uh, Levi's so we've got a real diverse group of musicians and singers. I think 40 total people are going to take the stage there on Saturday. And again, it's a free concert. We have food, we have beer, we have art and stuff for the kids. And uh, it promised to be a fabulous day. It sounds like it sounds like it's going to be a great time. Like you said, the weather's looking pretty nice this weekend. But on top of the parade, right, there are also more festivities that are going to be happening after the parade that you're hoping is going to be an annual event. Yes. Tell me all about so, it. 
With the Unite SF theme, we, we think it's a good theme moving forward, right? Uh, Mayor Breed has really uh, stepped in here to kind of facilitate us. We're a small organisation. Um, but after the St. Patrick's Day Parade, we have the festival. The following day, then, people can go to the United Irish Cultural Centre and there will be a party uh, in conjunction with the United Irish Cultural Centre and the United Irish Societies. We're going to put on a block party down there at 45th and Sloat. And uh, we basically shut off the the whole place and we'll have again more to say more music more crack as they say in Ireland mm. and uh, you know just again these are free uh, activities that were that, that we're putting on and just to shine a light as I say again in a positive way in the city it's such a wonderful place to to to, to grow up and yeah. to live and um, you know, uh, the weather is, as I say, is looking fabulous, and you know, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. It's my first year as the parade director. Uh -huh. I took over from a lady called Kathleen Manning, and Kathleen's been running the show for twenty odd years now. Um, I put my hand up uh, this year and, and took it on, and um, I, I really am looking forward to a very successful first. Uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade for myself. No, well, congratulations on this being your first year. Yes. I know it's, you're going to knock it out of the park. And I, I'm glad you mentioned that because for you, you know, like you said, you just took it over this past year. What has been the most rewarding part about this process, planning this year's parade and all the festivities surrounding it? You know, um, teaming up with Glide, I've been to Glide now. I've, I'd heard about Glide Church for years and uh, I started going down once we got uh, Glide to agree to, to come on with us. Um, Going there these past few Sundays and just seeing the message that they have, which is radical inclusivity and all that. Um, I've also had a great opportunity to team up with a group called Sunset Mercantile, and they organize all the farmers markets across the city. And Sunset Mercantile have come on, they're going to bring in the food, they're going to bring in all the vendors. I myself am a volunteer. Um, I, I'm in construction. Uh, is my my real job or my day job okay. but you know um this past few months it's been pretty hectic trying to get something like this together i believe um, it <laughs> and if you know i've no experience organizing parades but i do believe we have a really really uh, brilliant showpiece uh, coming this Saturday. You know? I, I believe it. Oh, man. Well, I'm so excited for you and for everybody. So one more time, all the details of this weekend's parade and how people can come, can come and get involved. James. Okie doke. So you can take your Bart and your Muni uh, downtown. The parade itself kicks off at 11.30 at 2nd and Market. We'll have the San Francisco Police Department, uh, uh, their motorcycle uh, escort. We'll have the Mounted Police and then we'll be followed by uh, our Grand Marshal, Liam Frost, and then we'll have uh, Mayor Breed and all our board of supervisors and and goes all the way down along we have uh, unions uh, all the unions and lots of marching bands and high school marching bands and it's really it's not it's about getting the kids involved as well yes. you know, and showcasing like the high schools around the city the JR mm. OTC programs, that kind of thing. So 11.30, it kicks off at Market Street. The parade then will wind its way towards Civic Centre Plaza, uh, just like past City Hall. And then the music kicks off at 2. And that free festival goes from 2 to 6 p.m. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. It's going to be such a weekend full of incredible events. James, we appreciate you. Thank you very much, Olivia, for having me. Appreciate it. Thank you.